So in this episode of Gear Scout, we're here at Elbert America to look at some night vision devices. Henry, tell us a little bit about what we see in front of us. All right, so what you got in front of you? It's an enhanced night vision goggle binocular, ANPSQ44. Comprised of four main components. You got, you got a night vision viewer, positioning assembly binocular, universal helmet mount assembly, and the battery pack. Clip it all together. Powered by four L91 lithium AA batteries. And now, you have one of the most advanced night vision products available on the market today. Contains two high performance image intensifiers, one 640 by 480 thermal imager, and they're optically fused so that the viewer is able to see both thermal and image intensified imagery simultaneously. This is the Squad Binocular Night Vision Goggle fielded by the U.S. Marine Corps. Both systems share co some common traits. Both are image intensified binoculars. Both have side stow capability. Both share the same tube type and both have thermal imagers. The enhanced night vision goggle binocular, in addition to an all weather, day or night thermal imager and your tubes, also has intra-soldier wireless capability. So you can link in, let's say drone feeds, okay, vehicle camera feeds, thermal, Im thermal image from your weapon site feeds, all in the user's eye. The Squad Binocular Night Vision Goggle, SBMBG for short, has an external clip-on thermal imager, ECOTI. Its image is projected into the image intensified tube. Native fusing means I have a camera, and inside I have your classic image intensifier night vision tube. The thermal image is projected on a display inside, and then it is actually combined in a beam combiner prism. Those two images, the user sees it in their eye simultaneously, or they can see them independently. So the night vision in the ENVG Bravo mm -hmm. has uh, different settings. Now, um, we'll, we'll see a little sample of that, but can you describe about what we're seeing if we switch between the settings on the device? Sure. So if you're looking at a scene, you have three options. You have white hot, so hotter objects are appear brighter. You have black hot, where hotter objects actually appear darker. And then you have outline. Now, outline's cool. Outline actually shows you, like if you're looking at a person, you'll see their outline, but you won't see them as a big white blob. Most users when walking around, they use outline. Outline is the most useful because nature doesn't do straight lines. If you ever notice this, nature never, never does straight lines. In the thermal straight lines and outline, they pop out immediately. One of the things that's really a great feature about this, like you said, is that is that capability of having it all be able to transfer back and forth to the goggle from one device. It also has its own power supply. Can you talk a little bit about kind of how this thing is powered, how long it can last, and, and kind of how all this fits together? Sure, I can do that. So power is provided from the battery pack by four lithium batteries. You can buy these on the shelf. Depending on your operating mode, operating life is anywhere between four hours and 10 hours. Depends on how many of the features you use. It's kind of like your car. The faster you drive it, the faster you burn gas, right? Same true for the goggle. So I understand that has a lot of great capabilities with just a few batteries. Mm -hmm. uh, what can this device do with the battery power it has? Okay, the one battery it has in the bridge can run the two tubes in the binocular for 20 hours. The CR123 cell it has in the ECOTI can run the ECOTI for three hours. It also has an external battery pack available that can extend the run life of the ECOTI and the binocular. So we have some advanced features on the EMVG mm -hmm. compared to this device, but both these devices are new and being used. Mm -hmm. What about the, say the PVS-14s uh, or mm -hmm. the older devices that people are currently carrying? Mm -hmm. What kind of features does this have that that does not? Okay, so PVS-14 is a monocular night vision device. It's probably the most ubiquitous night vision device in the world. This gives you two big advantages right off the bat. Two tubes means you get binocular vision. You get depth perception in low light. You also gain your thermal imager. Thermal imager breaks camouflage. Okay, it means if the guy's wearing digis and he's hiding in a tree and you can't see him with night vision, thermal imager will pop out. He'll be the only thing you see. All right, the EMGB also gives you wireless connectivity. That's critical. The things you see where people shoot around corners, yeah, that's real. EMGB enables that capability, okay? EMGB enables drone feeds. It enables augmented reality, what we call augmented reality, okay? AR is navigation. So when you're doing land nav, you're walking around, you're not stopping, looking down at your map, you're having to shine a light, no, no, no. It's in your eye, you see it the whole time. Full situational awareness of the battlefield, you can, know, you can do blue force tracking, so you know where all your squad mates are in real time. 
So you can see you can see more than just what's in front of you. You can see feeds coming from other places. You can also see more detail and depth uh, it, on the terrain you're, you're featuring. And as you said, you can break up camouflage and see people that otherwise could hide from you. Absolutely. And what about the durability? Obviously, you know, Marines are going to get they're going to get wet. You know, it's going to be it's going to be uh, you know maritime environment. You know, soldiers are going to get wet and cold too in the heat. Does this can this operate in like extreme temperatures of heat or cold? Absolutely. Both systems can operate between minus, minus 40 Fahrenheit all the way up to uh, 50, 49 degrees C, whatever that, it's hot. That's, that's midday Fallujah hot, okay? Doesn't, doesn't bother. They work fine no matter the temperature. Uh, immersion, enhanced night vision goggle binocular is rated for one meter of powered immersion and we test it on every glot we sell. The SBMVG, the goggle itself is rated for 20 meters, like frogman depths, okay? The Ecotti itself is not rated for nearly as deep, but thermal doesn't work underwater anyway, so you're not using it there. You know, it'll be in your dive bag. Now, I know the Army is specifically the Marine Corps as well, very interested in what, we, what they call, like to call modular, mm -hmm. being able to upgrade systems without replacing the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, now, obviously, you guys are talking about design changes that can work over time, and you can work with those with the, with the customer. Mm -hmm. As far as software, anything you can kind of plug in, plug out, you know, um, basically, so, you talk about that for Yeah, me. so, first of all, battery pack clips on, right? I want to upgrade this. I don't want to have to. I don't have to send this whole kit back. This battery pack can be completely disassembled by Ford maintenance. We have demonstrated that. The brain in it is upgradable. We have to work out a program with the Army to be able to do that. But it absolutely, if they say we want to enhance the capability, for a good example, they wanted to add a weapon sight reticle, a type that they hadn't had before. They called us up and said, "Hey, can you do this?" We said, "Yeah." Give us three weeks, no problem. Added it, range tested it, works great. Army says, I want that, put it in there. A month later, boom, rolled out, just like that. All right, now you talk about enhancements in the goggle. Now this I'm particularly proud of. Each of these monoculars, where you have your night vision tubes, they're held on by four screws. That's it, I take those four screws out, I can take that off there. Great for serviceability, great for maintainability, but it's also great for upgradeability, to your point. Let's say I have a new, completely new night vision device type, and I say, this thing is awesome, better than any tube ever built. I want to change it out. All we got to do, we build these up in the factory. It's nice, as you can see, it's nice and clean. We can align it, bolt it on, it's plug and play, rock and roll. Same for this monocular, with the thermal camera. Let's say there's some great new thermal imager technology comes out, right? We design a monocular that bolts up to this interface. Four bolts, pop this one off, pop your new one on, bolt it on, plug and play, rock and roll. It's that easy. Five minutes, you're done. 